Hello folks, I'm Ab Fielder. Welcome to the second video in my carpet mod series. Today we'll be looking at Tick Warp, which essentially allows us to put Minecraft into fast forward mode. Firstly, if you need to know how to install fabric and fabric mods like carpet, link for that video is in the description below. Assuming you've watched that in your back, let's talk about Tick Warp. As I said, it's essentially a way of putting Minecraft into fast forward, which is incredibly useful if you want to test farms. On the screen in front of you is a wheat farm I designed and built for the survival server I play on. I actually tested several designs that I built up in creative mode and Tick Warp allowed me to quickly test the rates of each design and also see if there were any design flaws. So with all that said, let me show you how you can use it. So you hit the T key to open your chat, then forward slash, then type in tick, and then space, and then type in warp. If you press the W key and hit the tab key, that will fill it in for you. Space, and then how many ticks you want to warp for. Now, 72,000 is three Minecraft days, which is actually one hour of real life time. It's the one I most commonly use. But if you want to do multiple hours, you can just multiply that 72,000 figure. Hit enter. And away we go, the villagers are moving around extremely quickly and if we go below this farm to where there is a minecart, here we go, you'll see that's also going at very, very rapid pace. I have not sped this footage up at all. Now, I believe Tick Warp goes basically as fast as it possibly can. So on my computer, one hour will take around about five minutes, give or take, depending on what's going on. Now, we can combine Tick Warp with some other stuff like counters. Now, I'll go into counters in more detail in my next video, the third in this series, so hit that subscribe button. But it'll essentially tell us the rates and it makes it nice and easy. That's why I have that bit of wall down in the very bottom right-hand corner. And if I type in counter, there we go. It says I've been running it for about six minutes now, uh, whereas the, the entire video so far is like two minutes, so you can see how quick that's going. I'm going to jump ahead to some other footage here just to show you what else Tick Warp can be used for and then we'll, uh, we'll come back when Tick Warp is finished. So besides getting a count of the items much, much quicker, one of the other things that I use Tick Warp for is to make sure my farms are working as I expect. Now, you can see here, this is one of the earlier designs I was playing around with and the villagers just aren't harvesting anything outside a certain radius of the composter. I didn't know this was a thing, really. I knew they couldn't go particularly far in terms of they couldn't see that far, but I thought they would go further away from the composter. Thanks to Tick Warp, I was able to very quickly dismiss that farm as a viable design and then move on to this design. So then Tick Warp has completed, gives us a couple of figures that can be used to tell us how laggy our farm is. I'm not going to go into the details here, mainly because I don't know them. But if we combine this with counters, which as I said will be in my next video, then we've just done an hour of testing in about five minutes. We know that our farm works, we know that there are no real problems with it, and thanks to the counters there, we know how many wheat seeds and how much wheat it's going to throw out. Now, if we wanted to do a longer test, we could do like eight hours, for example, and that would take like 40 minutes or so. So really, really good for testing your farms. Now, before we end this video, there is one other thing you can do with Tick Warp that I want to show you. You can have it run a command when Tick Warp has finished, so when it finished before, which might be useful. Maybe you want to turn your farm off or something after, after Tick Warp's completed. So what I'm going to do here is I'm to demonstrate it is I'm going to do a much shorter tick warp and then I'm going to have it place a redstone block above my head. Okay then, so I've just grabbed the fill command and what I'm going to do is copy that and then I'm going to do the forward slash tick space warp. I'm just going to do a much shorter period of time here because it doesn't really matter. Then if I do space, you see where it said tail command there? I'm just going to copy and paste that line in it. doesn't matter, I'm just giving you this as an example. Get rid of that forward slash, you don't need that. And then hit enter. Okay, I'm going to go into free cam mode. I'm using Tweakeroo. I've got an entire series on that. Link will be in the description below, along with any other link I've promised you. Hopefully, hopefully if I don't forget. Okay, let's jump to the end of this tick warp and then see what happens. Here we go then. Boom. Okay, tick warp completed and then it placed in the redstone block. Imagine there was a circuit there and the redstone block stopped it. That's how that could be useful. Okay, folks, that's it for tick warp. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, tick that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. As I said, I'll be doing the counters for the next carpet video and there'll be other Minecraft videos coming in the meantime as well. Anyway, folks, that's all I have time for. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye. <laughs>